All right, what's up, Internet? This is Paisley Computer here with another video, uh, bringing you more questionable lighting uh, off my lamp from Target. Uh, hopefully not some bizarre camera angles, but I am just shooting off a webcam into my old GoPro, but I have updated the audio. Uh, I've just picked up a Roland R44 field recorder. Uh, it is awesome. It's battery powered. It saves right to a flash card. It's amazing, but that's not why we're making this video today. Um, I'm actually making this video. This is more of like an arts and crafts kind of project uh, to show off a speaker panel that I've made. Um, this is a sound panel, um, distributed mode sound panel, I believe is what it's officially called. Um, it is amazing, and um, I want to show you both why I built it, how it sounds, and also how you can build your own. Um, so basically, the who, what, when, where, why of this thing is uh, kind of starting with the what. Uh, what is this thing? Well, it's it's a speaker, but it doesn't work like a conventional speaker. I'm actually uh, replacing my rear end uh, channels or rear speakers from my home theater system with these. Um, these are this is a Sony. Uh, MSP2, uh, just satellite speaker, it weighs about three pounds. You can kind of feel that the magnet kind of sits mostly in the front. It's got the old brass fitting in the back, so you can still mount it to a wall, but you're going to have to hit a stud to, to get it uh, safely mounted. And then obviously it just uses the positive negative uh, regular old speaker cables that you just uh, slide in the back. Um, but, you know, with these speakers, this, this uses a, a magnet and a coil and a cone. Uh, that magnet pulls the coil back and releases it and the, lets the cone move forward and backwards. That's how it creates the sound. Um, there's What I didn't know is that there's many, many other applications and devices that make sound in different ways. Uh, so this kind of cone setup is only one, one particular way. There's another way which you can use a sound actuator, which you can order off of, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm sorry, Parts Express. Um, I'll have the link down in the bottom below. Uh, but this actuator, what it does, rather than like moving a thing forward and backward, it just vibrates the entire mass that it's attached to. So it's essentially just like a, a vibrating uh, sticker. You just slap it on something and, and it just vibrates. It pushes the sound uh, through the actual uh, object. Um, and so you can actually make these speakers out of all sorts of different materials. You can use blossom wood or foam or, uh, you know, metal or sheet metal or cardboard or you know anything you got and it, there's actually a lot of different uh, ways you can you can build and mount these things which is pretty cool um, so one interesting aspect uh, why I built the the speaker though is because this satellite speaker uh, I would say the speaker in there has about a two inch diameter um, and when you're listening to it or it's producing sound that sound kind of almost comes out in a more of like a beam shape uh, rather than, you know, it doesn't really fill the room. So ideally, when you have a 5.1 system, you're going to kind of have a, a center point in your room or your ideal listening point, and that's where you point all the speakers. So you kind of have the thing, you got to have it directly pointed at you. If you get up and go, you know, get a drink or something or move across the room, you're going to lose the, the really good fidelity that you would if it was pointed directly at you. With the panels, though, that doesn't exist like the you know this two inch diameter is now suddenly two feet by two feet so the um, it, it's capable of making uh, the sound like as you move around the room it doesn't wane like like it would if it were a, a normal speaker so uh, these things are, are are really really cool in that regard um, and the reason why I put them on my rear end and not my front is just because I already have some nice JBL, you know, stereo speakers up front. Um, I do have a subwoofer. And then, uh, yeah, I've got these, these two channels in the back. So I just wanted to th slap some, uh, some new speakers up and kind of fill out the sound a little bit more. Um, so this is a really, really good weekend project. Um, it did not take me very long to make these at all. As a matter of fact, you can order these uh, actuators right now. Go to Home Depot, pick up your, your panels. You could have the panels done 
you know, before your actuators show up so you could have everything mounted, ready to go. And, you know, once, once FedEx delivers your, your gear, you can uh, just mount it right up and uh, get going. That's exactly what I did. So uh, we're going to kind of do this video in reverse though. Um, I've already built the speakers uh, or built the panels, the panel speakers. Um, and I've, and I've already mounted them and wired them into my system. I've actually been using them for like the past two weeks. Uh, but I wanted to kind of show you guys uh, why these things are awesome, why I built it, and uh, hopefully this little test first will kind of convince you um, to, to go out and build them. So once you see how awesome these things are, um, just keep watching this video because I'm going to show you step by step on how to build them. Um, so for my first test, um, what I've done is I've got... Um, <laughs> some recordings. This is actually my old band from back in college. Uh, these recordings are well over 10 years old, um, but it is professionally done. We did win some uh, some studio time um, years and years and years ago. Uh, we re recorded a couple, uh, couple songs, which was pretty fun. Um, and so I'm using this uh, recording. It has not been mastered. This is pretty much just recorded right off their deck. But because of copyright, you know, I just wanted to play something that I knew would fly under the radar. And this is about the best recording that I've ever been part of. So um, in this particular recording, I'm playing drums. Uh, my friend Dave is singing. Bill is uh, on lead guitar. Brandon's on bass. And uh, Bobby Z is playing harmonica. So without further ado, you're going to hear the Sony satellite speaker first. And then I'm going to kind of, you know, tone the music down. We're going to switch up the mics. We're going to put it next to the sound uh, panel and uh, s compare the two. So without further ado, here is the Sony satellite speaker. So hopefully this kind of gives you a bit of an idea of how this speaker sounds. Now the distance that I have here between this speaker and the microphone is, uh, you know, a real scientific endeavor. Basically the closer I get that microphone to the mag magnet in that speaker, it kind of gives a little, little fuzz, a little feedback. So I have to give them a little space. And then the volume that I'm recording at right now, that's all because it's just, you know, I live in an apartment, so I can't blast it too, too loud. Otherwise, I'd love to crank it up a little bit more. Um, but you can tell how sensitive that other microphone is because you can hear it kind of crossing over as I'm speaking. It's also picking my voice up, too. So um, I'm just going to quiet down for a few more seconds so you can kind of, you know, listen to a little bit more of the tune and, and see what you think about that satellite speaker.
All right, I just wanted to hear Bill's solo, man. The dude rips. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tone that down. We're gonna put uh, I'm gonna rec- I'm gonna wire up the the panel. I'm gonna put this microphone in front of uh, the panel, and uh, we'll we'll crank up the same song, and uh, hopefully you can you can see see how this thing sounds. So give me just a moment here. Cables everywhere. Oh man, of course. Of course you're doing a sound test and freaking ambulance drives by. <laughs> ah, just my luck. Alright, no worries. Anyway. All right, rock and roll. I think we're still still recording. Sick. Okay, so uh, we just switched up the microphone or uh, the speakers and put the, the microphone in front of the big panel. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to play the same jam. Uh, and let's see what it sounds like. Let me rewind it. I'm going to bring up that microphone. So, on the amp, I had it set to uh, minus 30, 30 decibels, uh, minus 30 dB. Uh, this is the same setting for the satellite speaker in the panel. Uh, the only difference is the microphone. I've actually turned the microphone down a hair, uh, just because if I drive the microphone too hard to get a little bit of feedback, uh, which I noticed when I put it up there. So, technically, this panel is much louder than that satellite speaker already. And granted, I'm, I'm in the room listening to this song right now, but in the headphones, I'm, I'm fairly certain that I can hear more bass in the panel as well. I mean, hopefully that gives you kind of an idea of uh, what it sounds like. I'm going to kind of start bringing the volume down on both the, uh, the music and the, the other microphone. But um, the next steps here is, is now that you've heard both um, side by side, 
uh, I'm going to show you how to build these things. Um, so this next section of the video is going to probably be um, a little bit more of a voiceover. Again, I'm trying to get used to doing some video editing, so I'm trying some new things. Um, but uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. I, I took pictures and videos and stuff as I did it along. Um, so this little next section will be uh, how to build your own panel. So thanks for listening and. Um, We'll catch you on the other side in just a moment. Thanks.